up everybody if you like to play american truck simulator or even euro truck simulator other simulator driving games you have to have this button box right here let's check it out this is a very very nice button box it is for american truck simulator but as i said it does work for almost every other simulator game you could possibly want you do have several options there as you guys can see you do have your parking brake your trailer brake and you do have several other buttons and knobs that do lots of other things oh, knocked it over and you've got these switches here as well. They are very nicely labeled. Now you can customize them and make them for whatever you want. Now the only complaint I have with this box is the mounting hardware that it came with to mount. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with these and especially these here. They don't really make sense and there's no instructions on how to mount it. So I'm going to show you how I mounted it on my setup and then I'll continue the review. After you get your brackets mounted to whatever it is you're going to mount it on, you could actually use this piece just like that and it clamps down on both sides. But of course, I'm not gonna use this. I'm actually gonna show you a different way on how I'm gonna use it. And of course, I'm not gonna use it like that. I'm gonna use those command strips because I think they're gonna look better. And I just feel like this sticks out of the way too much. What I went ahead and did is I actually put command strips right here and right here, and I'm gonna stick it to the back of the button box, and it should hold just fine. You might have to improvise and adapt just a little bit there, but that's what I did, and that's what you can try too. And of course, as you can see, it holds it just fine. You're able to push buttons, pull these out. These are the big things. You're gonna pull these out with a good bit of force. And those command strips hold it on just fine. Of course, after plugging it in, this is actually what it looks like right here. And you are able to turn those lights on and off. In order to change it, you just go right here where it says panel lights and you hold that knob. And you can actually just hold that in and it will start to change and you can cycle through all of the lights just like that. Well, after you've got it all hooked up and connected and it's connected to your computer and you got your light set, you actually just log on to American Truck Simulator. You will go where it says options and you will click on that. After hitting options, you actually need to go to controls right here first. And at the very top of that screen, you need to see where you're using what you're using. I'm using the Logitech G, you know, the G29 steering wheel. I'm using the joystick, which is my shift knob, as well as I'm using the shifter. You actually need to click right here and add another. And right there, you can see it says Sim Panel ATS button box. Go ahead and click that. And then you'll see it up there. And then from that same screen, you can actually go down to the bottom and click keys and buttons and then you will assign the buttons that you want. So for example, we're going to change the engine start stop right there. We're going to go over and we are going to click on it and we're actually going to change it. And I want it to where I can actually just turn the key and it went ahead and then you come up here and you look and it did actually change it. Now you will have to do that for every one of your buttons. You're going to have to go through and whatever it says it is, you need to change it on here or if you want it to be something totally different you can actually do so as well but you'll need to do that and you do have two extra buttons here that are auxiliary that don't they're not labeled but technically every one of these buttons can be an auxiliary button and you can change it via whatever you want well once you got all your buttons set to the way you like it on the game the next thing is to just jump in and try it out so i'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition to on yep and then we'll start it up and it works. Got my lights, got the high beams. They all work pretty good so far. So far, every button on there that I was pushing is working in the game. Another thing I really did want to talk about is the quality of this build. So it looks like it's made out of metal, but it is actually not. It's actually kind of a hard composite all the way around both the front and the back it is pretty nice now i will say all the buttons and these switches and knobs and everything are very very nice quality i mean even these switches right here are very nice quality indeed i really do like the brake buttons especially how they feel when you pull them out both of them definitely complement my build very well as you guys already know i've got the 18 speed shifter with selector range selector up here very nice so the next thing i do want to get for this build is i want to change this wheel and get like a semi truck build and then after that i'll be pretty happy with all the components that i have then i would like to start building the actual semi truck dashboard but that's a long ways away from that so hey if you guys are interested in this button box at all look down in the description below you can actually check that out yourself and go look at it on amazon as well as all the other gear that I use is on Amazon in the description below as well. So go check them out. 
I really appreciate all your guys' support. If you would like to donate anything at all or even tip me at all for this video or for the channel, I will also have a link for that in the description as below. I'm never going to ask you guys or beg you guys for money. I do appreciate all the tips and everything that I do get from you guys. Always helps out with my build. And like I said, I do plan on lots of other builds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.